The debate over the dignity of life continues as heated as ever, with world governments on one side or another of the laws allowing for the legalization of abortion. But one constant is the church's defense of life. One group is taking the church's stance directly to American youth. We need to get the young people involved and we're never going to see an end to this, this issue of abortion so long as we don't address sexuality and we don't address a healthy vision of sexuality. Generation Life, a Philadelphia-based program, focuses on direct outreach to youth as early as middle school. The project is simple, have young people speak before other young people about the sex, chastity and the power of human sexuality. I think we're much more open to embrace this, this holistic message of respect for the dignity of the human person. So, of course, it comes with its challenges, but I think the youth are really, really open. And when they hear that truth, it resounds in their hearts. They know it's true. While the message may not initially stick with everyone, the group's president says the important part is getting out there and getting people to listen. Once they've heard it, they can always come back to it later in life. But it's not just in their personal lives where the work Generation Life does now could reap big rewards in the future for the pro-life movement. I think as these young men and women form families and become mothers and fathers, that's how society is impacted. I mean, the family is the cornerstone of society. So if they really believe these messages and live them out, that is how we're going to change the world. The group has a five-member team based in Philadelphia and one in New York City working alongside Cardinal Timothy Dolan. They also have two that travel to speak throughout the country. Generation Life also expanded their missionary services, allowing college students to spread their message throughout the country and internationally in the future.